Hey guys, welcome back from Classic Work. Got another good one for y'all today. This is a 748H. Mr. Lee over here is packing some cylinders on. This is our job for today. He's trying to fix this eyelet. As you can tell, there's a bunch of weld on here and it's cracking from the outside here. Apparently, these style clamps on the skidders they always crack the inside one, the opposite of the ear mount that's over here. So the plan is I'm going to cut all this weld off and repair this crack. And then we're going to make a little plate that looks similar to this one. And we're going to go around this boss and weld it into this ear to prevent this from happening. If you notice, it does the same thing on the same edge if you can tell there's no plate that's welded to it and my guess is it allows for more of the stress instead of being focused around this boss it pushes it further into the actual plate so you don't have just a hard hard area where all that's been uh, taken up on if that makes any kind of sense so I'm gonna quit John and we'll get after it. Okay, we got some of it gouged off here. It's actually doing pretty good. You can see that crack really, really good. It goes all the way down toward the bottom. And I think that heat, a lot of times, yeah, it comes up through the other side too. So I'll be sure to grind into that crack really, really good. And uh, we'll do a full penetration weld all the way through it. I'll clean some more of this up and I'll show you what I got here in a minute. Alright, so what I've done is I've gouged out to the back plate. You can tell there's two pieces of plate here. And I've cut all the way through that one and partially through that other one to get the crack out. Now then, you can tell these two bosses are not really lined up cut into this one a little bit. We're going to buff these out, put the pin in there and make sure it goes through there. I may have to heat this here and bend it one way or the other. But uh, to get that up to speed, I'll show you what we're going to do next.
quite. So push it back through there and need a mark. I'll pull it out. See what we got now. All right. See how much it draws. Yeah. side the pin will no longer even try the problem is the plate that I got to weld on has got to be on this side too so it ain't gonna do nothing but draw it more so you gotta make a plate test fit it and everything like that and we may have to heat this ear on this side and hit it back up here back that that way that's gonna be a pain in the butt
plate mounted on there. That's not the orientation direction you're turn it. That should do it. It's set up welded. plates on there look too terribly bad off camera I went back and cut the corner off right there but now we got to address this so let's see what we can do about that no dice no dice uh, it's up here at the top
crank the skitter before we left and make sure that all the hydraulic parts of it were good. Um, none of the seals leaked in the hydraulic cylinders and we didn't have any leaks in the line so I would have shown that but uh, as you can tell it was raining pretty good and by the time we got everything picked up and everything it, uh, it, it everything was pretty soaking wet. Um, but it was a pretty good job. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that the little plate that I put on the inside of that. I'm not gonna say that's a permanent fix to to the grapple. Um, it's one of those things that, that I'm not a, a firm believer in not putting extra plates on stuff because things are engineered to do with their job. But since both sides have cracked out, I've talked to Mr. Lee about this. Uh, he's seen multiple ones that they all do it so this is more or less an experiment it made sense to me to try to move that stress around and put more flexibility more or less rather than just a hard stop so i'll uh i'll keep y'all informed hopefully uh, you may have to read the comments months or years down the line but to see if that repair actually held up in the long run but uh anyways hope y'all enjoyed it hope you got something out of it Till next time Y'all take care and God bless.